the wildlife that we have here are here for the same reasons we are. We value the natural resources. You know, humans settled this area in Tucson because there was water source here or close to the mountains. There was that kind of diversity. And wildlife is here for that very reason. Tucson Wildlife Center rescues and rehabilitates the injured and orphaned wildlife all over Tucson and southern Arizona. We also educate the public on um, viable habitat and coexistence with wildlife. Probably 65% are being hit by cars mm -hmm. and 30% are being uh, poisoned, shot, um, striking windows, getting hit with golf balls. I think they're going to need a little more. Mm -hmm. We handle in everything from butterflies to elephants. So that means little baby birds and bunnies right now that spring is coming on. We're going to have thousands coming through our doors and over 3,000 this year. We also do the large animals. We specialize in the coyotes and the bobcats and the eagles and the large raptors. Um, uh, big or small, any creature is welcomed that needs help through our doors. biggest threat to species and habitat is urban growth. It's you know growing, been growing so fast uh, for the last 50 years. And so the groups decided that we should get together and speak with a unified voice to protect the Sonoran Desert. To maintain a balance between wildlife and urban growth, the Coalition for Sonoran Desert Protection created wildlife linkages that allow animals to cross the road without being injured or killed. They were just recently completed and we are monitoring them with wildlife cameras in the area as well as the Game and Fish Department. The state agency put cameras up on top of the bridge and in the underpass and within a week they saw on their footage deer crossing and coyote crossing and, and javelinas crossing so it didn't take them long to find a safe avenue to get across the Oracle Road. The more people appreciate places like that, the more they're apt to support efforts to protect it. But the more people out there, the more impacts you have. Sabino Canyon, located on the east side of Tucson, attracts hundreds of visitors a day, but is still home to large amounts of wildlife. Um, as far as the uh, traffic, the amount of people in Sabino Canyon, I think the Forest Service is doing a good job of you know, containing that. They have some people can't even hike that far up to the top, so they have um, the little buses that take them up there. But it's an ongoing struggle because it's so nice to have people enjoy it and appreciate it and want to protect it, but sometimes you kind of love it to death.